for the people that are coming out. It's awesome. Um, and we're going to start with Dan. Uh, okay, this is Hippa's poem I'm reading for her because she's sick as we know. Uh, okay, it's by Gatsi Kanafi. I heard you in the other room asking your mother, Mama, am I a Palestinian? When she answered yes, a heavy, heavy silence fell, fell on the whole house. It was as if something hanging over our heads had fallen. Its noise exploding, then silence. Afterwards, I heard you crying. I could not move. There was something bigger than my awareness being born in the other room through your bewildered sobbing. It was as if a blessed scalpel, scalpel was cutting up your chest and putting there the heart that belongs to you. I was unable to move to see what was happening in the other room. I knew, however, that a distant homeland was being born again. Hills, olive groves, dead people, torn banners, and folded ones, all cutting their way into a future of flesh and blood and being born in the heart of another child. Do you believe that man grows? No, he is born suddenly. A word, a moment. Okay, uh, this poem is by Nizar Kabani. He's a Palestinian uh, poem, poet. So here it is. It's called Jerusalem. Jerusalem, luminous city of prophets, shortest path between heaven and earth. Jerusalem, you are the myri myriad minarets, become a beautiful little girl with burnt fingers. City of the Virgin, your eyes are sad, shady oasis where the prophet passed. The stones of your streets grow sad, the towers of moss downcast. City swathed in black, who'll ring the bells at the holy sepulcher on Sunday mornings? Who will carry toys to children on Christmas Eve? City of sorrows, a huge tear trembling on your eyelid. Who'll save the Bible? Who'll save the Quran? Who'll save Christ? Who will save man? Jerusalem, beloved city of mine, tomorrow your lemon trees will bloom. Your green stalks and branches rise up joyful, and your eyes will laugh. Hi everyone, I'm Isaac, I'm Vice President of SJP, Penn State. Uh, I'm going to recite a poem called Take a Stand, which I wrote a couple years ago while waiting at an airport. So, <laughs> Where are you going? I was going to Arizona. <laughs> Alright, how can I sit back and watch my people die? Or worse, live in humiliation, with no life, liberty, and pursuit of happiness? How can I simply view the atrocities that my people are subjected to and say, I don't live there, I'm here in the US. But I'm not here, my heart and spirit, both my heart and spirit belong to Palestine, the land of my forefathers, the land of the olive trees, the Dead Sea, Jerusalem, the land of Birzit, my home. How can I sit back and let foreigners steal my identity? The land is not theirs, it never was, and let me tell you this, it never will be. With my eyes, heart, spirit, and mind, Palestine is mine, and will always be. And I'm Palestine's, I will always be, in the rocks, the sea, the trees, Without it, I am not. With it, I am. So take responsibility, Palestinians. It is you who can dictate your fate. Take a stand against the oppressor. For even if we stand alone, we still stand. With our hearts as strong as rocks and our souls so strong, they appear solids in the shape of our body. Palestinian body. We are one. If one dies, we all must take vengeance. Humiliated, strike ten times harder. For we've got to lose nothing. We'll continue to fight until we are restored to our rightful, prestigious selves. So I call on all of you Palestinians, in Palestine, the US, Africa, Asia, South America, Europe, everywhere, not to solely sit back and watch. Your people die, their souls wither. Strengthen our soul, take a stand against the oppressor. Justice before peace, with peace must come justice. Long live Palestine. All right, this is a, all right, this is a poem or part of The Prophet by Khalil Gibran. Um, and the priestess spoke again and said, speak to us of reason and passion. He answered saying, your soul is oftentimes a battlefield upon which your reason and judgment wage war against your passion and your appetite. Would that I could be a peacemaker in your soul, that I must turn to discord and rivalry of your elements into oneness and, lonely, and melody. <clears throat> but how shall I, unless you yourselves also become the peacemakers, nay, the lovers of your elements? Your reason and passion are the rudder and the sail of your seafaring soul. If either your sails or your rudder be broken, you can but toss and drift, or else be standstill in mid-sea. For reason, ruling alone is force confining, and passion, unattended, is a flame that burns to its own destruction. Therefore, let your soul exalt your reason to the highest of the passion, that it may sing, and, that, and let it direct your passion with reason, 
that your passion may live through its own daily resurrection like a phoenix rise above its own ashes. I'm going to read two short poems by Rumi from Birdsong. Which is worth more, a crowd of thousands or your own genuine solitude? Freedom or power over an entire nation? A little while alone in your room will prove more valuable than anything else that could ever be given to you. You're from a country beyond this universe, yet your best guess is you're made of earth and ashes. You engrave this physical image everywhere. All right, this one's called uh, Ode to My Siren. Uh, all right. You first sang to me so sweetly, beauty clear to me just briefly. The promises you only make do not compare to what you take. The panacea to my wants merely provided wanton taunts. You assure me all will be right, but is that not every man's plight? A sob of defeat. And uh, <clears throat> let me, I got one more. Yeah. Uh, this one's called Whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> all, right, uh, all right, you can make me warm like the sun, provided me with so much fun. But even after all of that, you're the worst thing I've ever done. You always pounded me so flat, then once you left me there I sat. Do I not need you, could it be? Please go away, you autocrat. No more life will you take from me. Sans you and your friends I am free. Tidings you offer I with none. What's pertinent I did not see. You turned my life into a pun. Uh, you're not an opponent, I only let you be. I couldn't live without you. You had to exist in my future, but you and my future cannot coexist. It came time to choose. I can't live with you, and nothing visible includes you.